Rosa returned to the lobby. It was still her turn to rest, but her expression made it look as though she couldn't sleep deeply with all this tension. どうしてもおととらしいことができないから。本当に仲のお良しいことで。夏日さんこそね。エバと秀吉さんはぐっすり見たいじゃないか。やはりローザと違い、年に as though in response to those words, the door to the hall clanked open. Eva and Hideyoshi returned from the guest room. シャワーを浴びたら眠気が覚めちゃったわ。ルドルフたち、よかったら休んでいいわよ。お、サンキュー。今は気持ちだけでいいぜ。兄貴たち、先に休んだらどうだ。ありがたいね。だが先に休むわ
空気が悪いようどうにもギスギスしている無理もない早朝に殺人事件それからずっとここで銃を抱きながら缶詰ですもんストレスが溜まって当然ね上の子たちもだいぶストレスが溜まってるんじゃないかしらマリアが心配だわこういう時は感触を起こしやすいの At that moment, they heard the sound of wild footsteps coming from the second floor. The guest house wasn't a cheap building, so they wouldn't normally have heard the sound of footsteps. It was like the sound of someone stamping their feet in frustration. And an instant later, accompanied by what seemed to be the sound of her running out into the second floor hallway, they could hear Maria calling ooh 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 over and over again sounding displeased. Rosa grabbed her head, her hair flying, and she voicelessly moaned in anguish. The adults conscientious conscientiously turned their back to her, pretending not to notice. The noisy clamor came down from the second floor and flew into the lobby. It was Maria who was sobbing, along with the other children and Nanjo. In other words, they had all calmed downstairs because of Maria's tantrum. Rosa couldn't hide her dizziness at this new annoyance her daughter was bringing to everyone. ごめん、ロザおばさん。私たちも眺めたんだけど、どうしても聞いてくれなくて。ああ。どうしたの、マリア。少し静かにしなさい。みんな見てるわよ。例のバラ庭園のマリアのバラあれが急に心配だと言い出して寝ぼけたみたいなんです急にガバッと起き出してバラが心配だバラが心配だって言い出してマリアちゃん落ち着いてそれは夢なんだよ The sudden rise in the tone of Rosa's voice surprised the children. But Maria's crying just grew louder and the tantrum just grew fiercer. Rosa, 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 さっき朝食代わりに出した牛乳で空っぽです誰か子供用の鎮静剤とか持ってるかほらあの銀の粒みてえなやつとか持ってるわよああ今探して飲ませるから Without hiding her displeasure, Rosa grabbed the handbag that had been set on the sofa and fished around for some medicine it seemed she had brought some child use sedatives for Maria's tantrums. She found it and opened the bottle, but it must have been empty. Irritated, Rosa shook the bottle several times, but that didn't change the fact that nothing was in there. As she did that, Maria's crying grew even more intense. At that time, Eva was lying on her bed, covered by the bedding. Hideyoshi returned from the washroom, folding a handkerchief soaked in water. As Hideyoshi spoke to her kindly, he set a soaked handkerchief on Eva's burning forehead. Eva rested her own hand on top of his. 
あなたの手ひんやりして気持ちいいわしの手が気持ちいいようじゃだいぶ熱が出とるな安心せすぐに薬が効いてくるわそれになわしの手は魔法の手なんやこうしてエヴァの額に手を当てとるとなどんな熱も立ちどころに治ってしまうんやそうねあなたの手で私の熱が引かなかったことは一度もないものねそうやわしの手があれば医者いらずやで安心して目をつむるんやすぐにわしの魔法でぐんぐん熱が下がるからなうん知ってるあなたの魔法を感じるもの Hideyoshi was about to say it was just a placebo effect, but he stopped. If Eva said she could feel magic coming from his hand, then that was fine for now. ん魔法が実在するならやっぱり魔女も実在するのかしらん森の魔女ベアトリーチェのことかいな信じる者には居るやろな神様と同じや信人深い人の前にしか姿は現さんのや私もね昔 魔法が使えたのほうほんまかいなじゃあお前も魔女やったんやな私がね絶対に叶えたい夢があってそれを強く願って努力するとそれは必ず叶ったの私はその魔法でいつも成績は一番だったし生徒会長にだってなったし入りたい大学にも実力で入れたしいつだってどんな願いだって叶えてきたわそうやなお前の魔法はいつだって大したもんやお前は確かに魔女やそして誰にも負けん努力かやわしゃよーしっとるで私ね子供の頃からずっとずっと心の中にもう一人の自分がいていつもはそしてその自分は魔女だったわ森の魔女ベアトリーチェなんて信じなかったもし六軒島に魔女がいるとしたらそれは私の心の中の魔女のことだってずっと
おう任せとかんかいだから今は安心して眠るんやですぐに薬とわしの魔法が効いてくるからな Eva finally calmed her heart and closed her eyes. At that time, there was the sound of a door being opened violently from the direction of the lobby. It seemed that Maria was having a tantrum, and screams of ooh, ooh could be heard, along with Rosa's rebuking yells. That probably hurt Eva's ears, or maybe it was giving her a headache. Eva moaned as though in pain and buried herself in the covers. It was easy to guess what was happening. Maria had probably had a tantrum for some reason, gone down to the lobby and started arguing with Rosa, who then scolded her daughter. And then, maybe that got too embarrassing to be shown in front of the other relatives, so Rosa had taken Maria out into the corridor. Hideyoshi had no desire to butt in on Rosa and Maria's problem. But just for now, since Eva's condition was so bad, he wanted them to take their ruckus somewhere else. Wait a minute. I'll go to the house and go to the house. Hurry up and come back. Hideyoshi removed the chain, opened the door and stuck his face out into the corridor. He immediately met Rosa's gaze. Daijoubukaina, Maria's tone didn't change after Hideyoshi's request. She kept crying ooh ooh and repeating my rose, my rose. Rosa slapped Maria's cheek, lifted her up while covering her mouth and dragged her towards the entrance, trying to at least put some distance between her and Hideyoshi's room. She would still probably be noisy for a while, but he had warned Rosa for the time being. Relying on Rosa's actions as a mother, Hideyoshi closed the door. まだマリアちゃんが泣いてるの。そうみたいやな。どうさそうも大変や。それを思えばうちのジョージは適正や。親が感謝したいくらいやで。そうね。おお、すまんそう。ほら、魔法の手やで。He put his hand on Eva's forehead again. Maybe there really was magical power in that hand. A truly peaceful look rose to Eva's face and bit by bit she began to drift off into the land of sleep. As he had promised, Hideyoshi kept his hand on her forehead. By the entrance, with her hand still against Maria's mouth, Rosa was at a loss at what to do next. She hadn't been able to withstand everyone's gazes in the lobby, and had yelled at the children to go upstairs, dashing out to, of the lobby. Then she had gone out into the corridor, only to have Hideyoshi say that she was too noisy. Where should I go now? Where should I take this child who's having a tantrum? She felt as though tears of frustration were about to come out. As Maria kept struggling in an attempt to scream, Rosa put her mouth up to Maria's ear and tried to persuade Maria in a properly calm voice. Maria was so Maria nodded her head several times, moaning, ooh, ooh. Maria 
Apparently, she was still upset about that marked rose from yesterday. Rosa felt a headache throbbing again. But she was at least a little relieved that Maria had now stopped her screaming. Rosa reflexively covered Maria's mouth. She had spoken a little too harshly and gotten her agitated again. Rosa realized that it was partly her own fault and clicked her tongue in self-hatred. But Maria thought that was directed at her and her crying grew even fiercer. Suddenly, Maria stopped crying so fast that it seemed unnatural. Then she turned around and muttered. If it would keep Maria quiet for the time being, Rosa thought that even going out into this wind and rain would be a small price to pay. She thought it might be a bit reckless. But in the end, no murder or anything of the sort had actually occurred. All of that clamor since this morning had been a farce set up by Kenzo. If you carefully thought about that chain of closed rooms, it clearly had to be all an act. <laughs> Rosa didn't overlook that creepy laugh and lightly hit Maria with her fist. And she shrugged, as though giving up. Once again, Rosa tested the weight of her gun. It'll be okay. It's only an act. There was never a murderer on this island in the first place. ローザ親子の痛々しい関係に気を使ってわざわざ話題を変えておるぞそなたらもう二階へ上がりテレビを見ながら話題を変えておるくそ誰か気づけよ一番近くにいるのは誰だよ頼むよ玄関から二人が出
<笑>何を心配する必要があるというのかうるせえよ知らしらしいんだよ誰か引き止めろ二人が殺されるんだ誰か止めろ<笑>